Hi, it's James from Totally Wild UK here, and today we're going to take a look at a, a woodland grown plant. It loves to grow in mossy, damp areas, and it's got a flavour of lemon zest and slightly apple peel. It's just down here, really easy to identify, and it's called wood sorrel. So I'll grab a little bit here. We've got three leaves here, and they're all heart shaped. Uh, a long stem, and the stem tends to go slightly more red toward the base. Um, when we're picking this, we want to make sure that we pick the stem and the leaves as well, because the stem actually has a bit more flavour in it than the leaves. Like I say, the flavour for this one, in my opinion, is like the green peel um, on an apple. It's zesty, citrusy, and quite sharp. It goes really well with fish. I put it in salads, and I also stuff fish with it. You'll actually quite often find this stuff on um, quite fancy restaurant menus. So they'd have this just served on top. It'll be the stem and the leaf as well. Um, from an ID point of view, like I say, these are heart shaped, slightly furry on top. Um, there's a couple of different wood sorrels that are slightly different colors, but this is the most common one you'll find in the woodlands in the UK. The main thing I think you could confuse this with is clovers. Now, clovers don't have this heart-shaped leaf um, but even if you did go out and you thought a clover was wood sorrel you picked it and ate it clovers are edible they're just not going to taste like this one and this one tastes absolutely amazing in woodlands like this you can see a wooded area we've got lots of moss lots of damp areas and this wood sorrel will carpet sections of the woodland when we go to pick it we want to make sure that we don't pick the rootstock with it so like here you can see I'm going in, I'll pick a leaf, and I'll pinch it and pull it up, and I'm getting the leaf, I'm getting the stem, but I'm not getting any of the bulbous root here. So we don't want to pick the root up because the leaves won't grow back as well. So if we pick it without the root, that means the leaves will grow back. Um, from a season, this actually has really long season, it can pop up and disappear through winter as well. But typically for me, I'll go out and pick this anytime between March and November. I'll head out to the woodlands and I can expect to find at least some of this, maybe not masses, um, but there'll always be some. I use this in loads of stuff. I don't only serve it with fish. I don't only put it in salads. I'll quite often blitz this stuff. So I'll blend it and then I'll use it as a substitute for lemon juice. So then I'll start putting it into cocktails. Um, I can make it into a sorbet. Uh, I can make it into smoothies. Literally anything that I do with lemon juice, I can then be doing with the juice of wood sorrel once it's been blended. So that's it, wood sorrel, a fantastic ingredient. 